There are some areas in life where it's very important for men to be able to interact with other men and live the bro life. A gym is one of them. For a man to go to a gym and have to wait in line for a female who takes ages to complete her set, record herself squatting down or stretching herself, and then discuss her video with her other female social media influencer friend, it's just too much. This is why in some cultures women are not allowed in men's spaces. There should be men-only gyms and women-only gyms. The sad thing is that the perpetrators causing all the problems are women looking for attention. The best thing about home gyms is that you don't have to worry about walking past a woman's camera or merely glancing at a woman and then being accused of being a pervert. The second best thing about a home gym is that it has no monthly fees and is open 24 7 always ready for you to work out and use whenever you want to. I remember watching a video a couple of months ago where a female gym influencer accused a blind man of watching her and being a creep, basically accusing him of harassment. After the female reported the blind guy for staring at her, and the gym employee kicked the blind guy out for it, even after knowing he was a card-carrying legal blind person, that was it for me. Bad enough, there were problems trying to get into a gym for my training and running into issues just trying to use specific equipment, and the ladies were using them as a seating area for their chatting, let alone the many influencers recording and calling out any guy in the frame, pass on any gym. The funny thing is that the gym was once a quiet place where men primarily worked out. Few women went to the gym because ladies had their own gyms for privacy too. The gyms probably need to consider discreetly monitoring the gym floor. There are some creepy men at the gym, but not everything is a federal incident. Some people just want some attention. It makes it hard on others. It's so sad how we manage to get an entire species so confused and filled with hatred for one another that we actively find ways to be alone. As a solution to this for gym owners, I'd have to say that instituting a dress code and losing a few customers versus men bowing out of the gym membership arena completely seems like a no-brainer. Also prohibiting filming would bring men back to the gym. There's a reason why women's only gyms fail. You either alienate the bulk of your customers and lose them, or introduce privacy or protection controls and ban filming. If you want to run a gym for 5-10% to of your members, then let women film. If you prefer to keep the 90-95% to of members, then ban it. Whilst I see segregated gyms as the ideal, we all know why most of the women go to gyms, so female-only gyms would run at a loss. That means shared gyms, but with stricter controls so that the bulk of the customers don't feel threatened. The other alternative is for men to walk away from public gyms and find alternative fitness solutions, which they've started doing right now with the rise in home gyms. It may be unfortunate, but that's exactly what needs to happen. When these gyms start realizing they're not going to stay in business long if they keep allowing this kind of nonsense, it'll change. Not to mention when these predators looking for the next viral video realize there's no longer any prey, then they'll move on too. There is no good reason for women to wear revealing outfits while exercising other than to be noticed. I know this for a fact. I had a friend who managed a gym and spa that had separate facilities such as a locker room, equipment section, steam room, bathroom, showers, and sauna for men and women. Certain women, dressed in incredibly tight suits would go to the men's equipment section and just loiter around. A few of the guys once complained that these women were in their section most of the time, prancing around and not working out. And if they're going to come in here, they should work out. And get this, these were straight guys whose only problem was that these girls were in their way, interrupting them by trying to strike up conversations. Some women don't realize that a guy looking in their direction doesn't mean he's attracted to them. Besides that, women get angry if an unattractive guy looks at them, and all giggly when an attractive guy looks at them. It's hypocritical. They don't realize that they can't choose who looks at them. People don't think, and then act, they act and then rationalize. That's worth remembering, especially in this context. Gym businesses simply cannot sustain a man's gym or a woman's gym. 
Women experience creeps in the minority, but assume most men are like that. So they become hyper aware to protect themselves. But the men who are getting blamed are done so by the minority of women, and in response men withdraw in order to protect themselves. All of which is sensitive to some degree, though we all need to learn to interact with each other respectfully. Take phones away from the gym, and just treat each other with dignity and respect. The sad thing is these women are spoiling it for the majority of good women out there who actually want to be approached in person. If you're a man with value and in decent shape, approaching a woman in person and giving her a compliment will make her day, provided she's a good woman. I've had women tell me they desire someone who will approach them in person, not the ones who approach online via text or DMs. Gyms across the world are that one place where people go to work on themselves, find peace, and even help each other out if they're confused. That's the gym spirit. Sadly, that spirit has been broken by scores of female influencers who want to work out their egos and publish it online for the world to see, but will complain about the one guy who glanced at her when she was recording. Of course, if it's a good looking man, the recording keeps on and the woman keeps doing her thing happily. But if it's an ugly guy, then he gets to be called a creep. There's another perspective that believes in the opposite though. Separate gyms work from an idealistic standpoint, but it won't work because of simple reasons. From a financial standpoint, they would make male-only gyms since that is the bigger consumer base. And women will suffer and make a big deal out of it all over social media. And the company who made the gym will be sued and charged for being a misogynist. If someone were to make a woman-only gym, barely any women would use it since so many go there for attention from men anyway, and the gym would probably be forced to shut down in a few months after going massively into debt with the break-even point completely unobtainable. It would need to be community-funded so technically it could happen and men wouldn't complain like women do so it would work. Can't believe this is something that has become an issue in our society today. Not really surprising, I guess, with the craziness that's been going on the last two decades. Honestly, society, I think, is taking major steps backward, and it's not stopping. We are not progressing forward. I think we as men need to set up our boundaries. Don't be afraid to voice what you think to women. Instead of avoiding women altogether, just tell them straight up. If all men did that, women would have to change. Any woman recording anything at the gym must be treated as a creep, publicly shamed, ostracized, and reported to the gym's management and the police. A two-way street. The same way that men change after women started recording in the gyms. Or a group of men can hire a space, buy equipment, and create an exclusive fitness club. Hire two personal trainers and have exclusive access to the facility. Regular contributions would be to cater to the trainer's salaries, utilities, and rent. It may seem expensive at first, but worthwhile considering the amount of nonsense you end up avoiding. As I've said before, it really is a funny world we live in. If you go to the gym today, you can bet you'll encounter at least one woman with a camera or her phone on a tripod, trying to record everything she can, so she can get all the curvy angles which she can then edit and post online on her social media and dating accounts where millions of thirsty guys have the opportunity to see her and more of her. However, God forbid if you glance at her while you're walking in that area or are working out in that area or actually need to use the machine she's been hogging for the last two hours, she's going to want to catch you looking at her and upload your face for the whole of the internet to see and label you as a creep. This is why Home gyms make a whole lot of sense for men who actually want to work out in peace. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.